All right. Well, here's here's the levels we got this morning. Here's the three big inflection levels. They're all supply demand lines. Okay. So, what we want to do? We established we had an M top this morning. M top. I had a supply at 24 and a half. Let me get an arrow so you can see what I'm talking about. Beautiful trading again today. Good job, Kwame. Nice trade, buddy. Earl, good job. Tina, good job on that 17 sell. That's a good one. All right, so, all right, so here's what we got. We had our major levels, 24 and a half. We had a major level, 32, 17 and a half. Major level, 32, 10 and a half. So what we established this morning is, is that we know that we only want to trade off supply demand lines. They will give us everything we need because these lines are generated from all the algorithms, all the high frequency traders, all the professional traders, all the amateur traders. It's all the order flow put together and they leave their footprint. And these supply lands are leading indicators, supply and demand lines. They're generated 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours ahead of time. So these are the only levels we need to trade off of in any market we trade. I don't care what futures, doesn't matter what stocks, it doesn't matter if you trade currency, it doesn't matter what index you trade or any future, these are the only levels we need to trade off of because they leave their footprint in the past. So we can project then going forward what our trade setups are going to be. So this morning when I got in, I drew this M top in the market and said this is going to be a major level if we break out to the upside of 32.24.50. If we do break out, it was a sell point earlier today before a lot of you traders were trading at around 7 o'clock this morning, had a sell. We had a sell right here at around 6 o'clock. But we established that's an M top. So here's the neckline on the M. The neckline on the M is the bottom of the M or the head and shoulders pattern. So this is where some traders got short right here at 13.72.50 because we had negative market delta. Because what we want to do is we want to trade with trend on these supply demand lines. Because old demand becomes new supply. So if I'm in a downtrend, which we are, you see we're down below the 200-day moving average. So I teach traders, educate them to only short. Don't take longs. The only time we would have took a long, if we broke through 24 and a half, retested, we would have took that long. But I teach traders to only take shorts off of a break of a demand. So it broke the neckline of the M top. It broke, retested, and a lot of traders got short here at 17 and a half with negative market delta. And negative market delta, we want to use delta over here as our entry level. So if you look at 17 and a half, this over here. So negative market delta, it came in at the 17 and a half. Negative market delta, that fired us in the trade. So you can see the selling pressure, 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 pressure. What I was stalking though, I was stalking this level right here at 32.10.5. So I told all the traders in the room that this is a level I really like to look for a break retest because this is major support. This is a demand line. We're not going to buy the demand. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know we don't buy demand lines and downtrends. We let demand lines break because old demand, we know, Based upon supply and demand, old demand becomes new supply. So we know that retest is going to be an entry level. And this is a trade that we're stocking all morning. So what we're going to do then is we look for a break. We look for a break. We look for a retest. And we look for negative market delta. So here's your first negative market delta. Let me skin this down. There's your first negative market delta at 17. And there was your entry at the second level. Retest of 10 and a half. Let me draw 10 and a half in. You can draw these on your uh, on market delta. What I suggest you do, I educate traders. Draw that right on your on your demand line. I mean on your um, draw that on your charts. Draw the 17 and a half on your market delta charts on your own computer. That way you have a visual interpretation of what's going on, right? So you just draw them in. Then we got down here, I said 0.3.5 would be the next level to go to. There it is. And then obviously the next level to go to would be 96.5.
So you can draw these in on your – so now you can clearly see the levels. So what I want to do as a trader, I know we're in a downtrend. These are very leading. We stalked this trade for about a half hour. Stock this trade actually more than a half hour. What time is it? Uh, what time? Broke, retested. So, yeah, we talked about an hour. This had an hour heads up. We had an hour heads up on this trade. So it gave us an hour heads up. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it break through this rejected level. Demand, old demand becomes new supply. Let it retest that level and watch market delta. So it's going to be this pattern. We let it break. It's an ABC pattern, short. We let it retest. It retested just perfect on it. This is a three sim rate I'm looking at. Very small time frame. We love entries. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a five sim. Uh, uh, five sim. You use a three, four, or five Rinko to get you in. Five would be the largest you want to use. It'll give you an average. Uh, um, I mean, it will be two ticks above the swing high. It'll be the hard stop going in. So your hard stop going in is a 15 tick hard stop pretty much on any market. But then we don't use a 15 hard stop to exit. What we do is we watch this negative market delta. So when this turned negative market delta in the retest, if it closed positive market delta in the next bar, exit your trade. Exit your trade at a small loss, small profit if you got a good fill, depending on the time frame. Because we want three bars of the same color in the row to know that we're getting this thing rolling. And then look at the two market delta big swings that they were sells here's 17 and a half got cranked here's 10 and a half got cranked right so then what you try to do is go level to level this is not scalping we're not scalping for one or two s p points and risking you know six ticks eight ticks ten ticks we're trying to get these big swings in between these levels we're trying to go from level to level because we know the professional traders have left their footprint in the past where these are the levels. That's what separates us from the amateur traders because we know it likes to go level to level because this is where they left their footprint in the past. These are electronically traded markets. So it likes to go level to level, level to level, level to level. So all we have to do then is we have to see where supply and demand lines are, make sure we go with the trend, and look for a break retest of the supply demands with market delta entry. And once we get in with the market delta entry, we're going to have a smaller stop because what we're going to do is we're going to watch delta. And if delta changes the opposite color within that three bars, if it's not the same color, close it out at a small loss, small profit. Wait for the next opportunity until you get a runner then because the runners are where you make your most ticks. We're not scalping this, guys and gals. We're trying to get these 8, 16, 20 point S&P 500 runs and we got them three days in a row all three of my inflection points that I did this week Wednesday Thursday and Friday I pointed out were major inflection points for the week we're done early again today all right so good job